Um, Wa'alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, they have a question. What's, what advice do you have for brothers, Muslim brothers, on, on social media? Ta'at, what advice would I give to brothers on social media? That's a very important question, Sharif. Um, and I think the reason why it's so important is the, um, yeah, I think most people use social media. Starting with myself to most of us here and, you know, in, this, in this room. Nine out of ten people today, if not ten out of ten, use some type of social media, one way. No doubt there are people that use social media a lot. Some people every now and then. Some people are on every means, every website. And then we have people, quote unquote, junkies. Okay, not talking about nobody specific, but there are people that are Facebook junkies. It's a reality. Yeah. Unfortunately, people that are addicted to Twitter and Instagram, people who live on social media. From the time they wake up to the time they go to sleep, everything is about my friends, my followers, what I did, what I ate, what I drank, da, 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 everything. So, the concept is that you know, I need business, advertisement, publicizing things. It's all done where? Social media. I bought a loaf of bread the other day, and it had a Twitter huh, thing <laughs> on it and Facebook. On a loaf of bread, why? Follow us on Twitter. I'm a little old-fashioned. You know, I'm just getting accustomed to using it. I use a few things, YouTube, here and there, but I really don't, you know, have my own personal thing and this and like that. So the question is very important because so many people use it. Uh, and whenever there's an abundance of usage of something, there's going to be an abundant need of the Islamic ruling. That's a qaida. Okay? The more important thing is, the more Islamic information is going to be there, such as salat. Okay? For example. So therefore, to keep things brief, um, social media, from what I hear, from the little that I see, it's a big problem among many of us. My first piece of advice would be to uh, avoid lying. Kedib. As a major sin in Islam, we don't have time to mention the ayats and the hadith about the severe sin of lying and the danger of it. That's the first advice, is to avoid lies, lying and liars. And that is, I know when it comes to social media, that's like what? Uh, fertile ground, you know, I mean, like, you know, fresh pasture for lying, okay? Second thing um, is to avoid gossip. Avoid carrying tales, namima. He said, she said, he said, she said. Okay, and if we say that, there may not be any what? Social media. Uh, the third piece of advice was to stay far away from riba, talking about Muslims, backbiting Muslims, slandering Muslims, attacking Muslims. And the shaitan has many different tricks to make you think that it's not riba, but it's riba. Mm. Call it this, call it that. I'm not saying it, I don't believe it. It's riba at the end of the day. Next piece of advice is, is that a Muslim should realize that it's only created to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And social media should only be used as a means of need or necessity to spread in, to spread dawah, to advise people, to benefit the masses, to talk with your friends in a permissible way. But social media is not your life. You're not created for Facebook. If you get on Facebook, you post something, you share something, that's one thing. But that shouldn't be your purpose in life, to be huh, a Facebook slave, which many people are, unfortunately. That's another piece of advice. Um, another uh, point of nasiha with regards to social media is the concept of lowering the gaze and not looking at that which is haram, not looking at that which is disliked, not listening to that which is haram or listening to that which is like whatever that thing may be. I'm not just talking about looking at women. I'm not just talking about listening to music, anything. You can be looking at the Allah, Allah, whatever you may be looking at, man, woman, child. Avoid those things. And also, I would advise, Yanni, with regards to the news uh, and how excessive watching of the news, in my opinion, and what statistics, they cause sadness. This person's killed, he's killed, this country, this country. Mm. Yanni, just the other day, we were, Yanni, in a restaurant, huh? And he. It was five minutes, huh? It was five minutes of fade, huh? It was five minutes, and it was what? It was like five different Muslim countries. It was nothing but war, and fighting, and killing. You know, may Allah help us all. So, there's a few brief pieces of advice with regards to conduct, Islamic conduct, on social media and off of social media, but especially on social media. And Allah knows best.